you gotta give and take. I think a relationship is give and take, and I think men, y'all, y'all sometimes want to rule with the iron iron fist when it's like, but for why? Because I could have a valid and <clears throat> honest and mm-hmm. an opinion that honestly can yield a better result than what you're thinking. But sure. because you're the man, you feel like I need to have the final say. And if you say I don't have the final say, then you don't value me me as a man, nah. But sometimes, if what you're saying doesn't make sense, mm-hmm. I have the ability to be like, nah, babe, that. That mm. what about if we try it this way? And I know it's a lot about delivery. I can't be like, sure. that nigga, you dumbass. I can't say all that. Yeah. But I can say, well, babe, you know, I was thinking, what? Hear me out. Mm. This. What do you think about this? A lot of women, unfortunately, can snatch defeat from the jaws of success by doing one thing, and that one thing is disrespecting men. This is what I call the unbreakable rule. A woman can never, ever, ever allow herself to disrespect the man that she wants to be in a long-term committed relationship with. Disrespecting a man usually provokes conflict, which rocks the boat, which goes against the things that I was talking about earlier. And it decreases a woman's own attraction for a man, especially if he doesn't respond effectively. Um, And... what do they say in the Bible? It's like a, a, a wise woman builds her house with her hands and tears it down, my ellipses, with her mouth. It's like a lot of women will open their mouth and talk their way out of the relationship that they could have had with the men who actually wanted to have it with them. And they do this because in the moment they might be frustrated or impatient. So it's emotional regulation and self-soothing. But a woman can also disrespect a man by demanding explanations, by interrogating him. These are forms of disrespect because they play inappropriately with power differentials. The right to demand an explanation the right to ask questions always goes from the high to the low. It never goes the other way around. Just think about the military. If I were your commanding officer and I called you in and I told you about a mission, you wouldn't have the right to ask me a bunch of questions before you decided whether you were going to accept the mission. You know, um, you that would be insubordination and it wouldn't be tolerated. So there is a way to get the kind of information that you want from a man without interrogating, without shaming, without demanding. You do not have to always agree with a man. That would be impossible because men, we men do all kinds of boneheaded things all the fucking time. So women do not have to approve of a guy, but they absolutely have to find ways to disapprove, disagree without disrespecting. And that's absolutely something that can be possible. I feel like if you made three hundred thousand dollars a year and he made forty, you would have a lot more bass in your voice. Let me tell you okay, something. Okay, but listen, <laughs> but listen, but listen. Nigga. We're not talking about large this jumps. What we're, doing. Like, we're not talking about large jumps. Like that's a very large jump. Like but I think I'm that's saying, a very like, dramatic. Statistically jump. speaking, most black men. Could you lay off of that for a while? Could you go to hell for a while? Already there. Excuse me. Nothing. Like when we're talking about like Kevin Samuels, and that's kind of like where we're going, right? I actually looked it up. Like there's a, they had a a demographic chart where you can filter it by like race and ethnicity and gender and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And um, figure out what percentile you're in Mm -hmm. based on your salary. Okay. People who make $100,000 a year, 10% of the population. That's not a lot. When you control for race, when you say black people. Oh shoot. (laughs) That's like 5% of the population. Okay. When you then say black men, it's like 3% of the population. What do you think? Then. So that's the NBA, the NFL. (laughs) Then when you start controlling for that, you got to control for men who are uh, heterosexual, Mm -hmm. who are interested in women. Mm -hmm. You have to control for men who are relatively attractive or stylish, whatever the fuck women like. Then you have to control. There we go. (laughs) And then you have to control for men who are, you know, seeking monogamy. Right. Because the entertainers, they're not seeking monogamy. They like the life. Then you have to control for a man who's at least taller than you. (sighs) Yeah. It's a biology again. Like, you can say I'm a short nigga, but if a nigga isn't at least taller than you, 
<laughs> or at least your height. At least as tall. Oh yes, is I. Anyway, I've had a lot of conversations with any woman. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. You give. don't feel like you <laughs> like you gotta pick him up and put him on your hip. No, I can't with your short temper. My short temper. Is it because you're taller than me that makes you say that I'm I'm, I'm short tempered? I didn't yeah. want to say you, that, but yes, you? you're not man enough for me. You think I'm happy being in a long distance relationship? Look at how tall you are. Come on my level, then. Step level. up on my level. Wait. Do that. Now, you can argue to me, man to man, woman to woman. Rubbish, mountain Kilimanjaro. Look, look at how tall you are. Look, I even have to get a chair to get on your level and speak to you. I'm, it's all over. Eh? Rubbish. <laughs> and then, when you then control for, um, after all that, control for a man who is attracted to you. Uh-huh. You're talking 0.0001% of the population. Right. You know, so it's, it's tough out here for women. It's important to know that like men don't think the way that y'all do. Yeah. And we don't value the things that y'all value. No. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're both still superficial, just not on the, in the same way. I care a lot about how you look. Right. You care a lot about what kind of life can you provide? Can I provide for you? Because women, what, what, I, what I realized, what I learned, you know, as I've matured in my pimping, <laughs> what, I, what I've learned is like, women more so remember how you make them feel. Absolutely. Than anything else. Absolutely. Uh, whereas men, you know, it's still kind of how you make us feel, but it's more so an ego thing. But like for y'all, it's like, it's less about how, how, what I said or how I said. Like, have you heard that Giveon uh, snippet? Uh -uh. Um, it's a song he's about to drop called um, Trying it's to Be. It's hard because it's lonely, honestly. I told him I'm in love with you, but they're okay with being number two. Drifting us apart, I ain't did nothing wrong yet. I'm tempted when you're gone, cause I don't do a lot long. They want me more than ever now. Scared that I want them to Trying to be All that I can be for you When you're not with me it's hard because it's lonely Honestly I told them I'm in love with you But they're okay with being number two Drifting us apart I ain't did nothing wrong yet Tempted when you're gone, cause I don't do a lot long They want me more than ever now And I'm scared that I want them to To mm -hmm. yeah. But literally like, if you listen to the lyrics, he's talking about like I want to be faithful, but these hoes out here and they want me but the Lower way he hammers. sings it, you forget that's what he's saying. Like I, I sent it to some I'll people. Probably hear it and be like, I sent it to some people and they were like, this is beautiful. I was like, did you listen to the lyrics? Like, no. <laughs> Go back and listen to the lyrics. Damn, that's fucked up. So like for 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 women, it tends to be like I see what you did there. How does this make me feel? Yeah. And I think that's part of the reason why we don't hear each other sometimes. Absolutely. Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also, share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Also, shout out to our Patreon executive producers and VIP members. Make sure you head over to Patreon and check out some exclusive content. A lot more happens on Patreon that can happen on YouTube. So please uh, consider becoming a member there. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.